for dessert, I'm gonna make a galette, which is a camping-friendly pie, and it's going to feature the cherries that I got from Market today. A little tip on keeping it clean when you're working with cherries. This is gonna keep me protected. I make pastry very often, but when I do, I like to mix things up a little bit. Use a bit of whole wheat flour for a really nice flavor and some really great texture. A little icing sugar to sweeten it up. Cold butter is key to a good pastry. The colder you can keep your dough, the flakier your pastry will be. One extra little bonus item to add to it for some extra flavor, lemon zest. It's really nice in anything from sweets to savories, sauces and soups. Adds another dimension to it all. Incorporate that. And keeping it cool, adding some moisture with a little water. And if you are doing this outside, it's important to move a little quickly because you do want to keep that dough nice and cool. I'm just going to give it a quick press. Don't want to heat it up too much with my hands. And then to keep it extra cold, I'm going to tuck it into the fridge for a little while while I prepare the rest of the glut. While that pastry is chilling, I'm going to work on the filling. was great on carrots. It's gonna be even better in this black. Those cherries are cooked down just where I want them. I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch just to thicken up the mixture. It'll hold together a little bit better in the glut. That immediately thickened up. This needs one more added flavor. Basil's my favorite herb to work with. It's got so much flavor and it works well in savory dishes as well as sweet dishes, which is why I thought it'd be great to go with the cherry galette. And that is that. I'm gonna let this cool down before I put it in the pastry. Galettes are really fun to make, especially because you can do them in any size. So if you're dining alone, make enough for one. You can make them really big for the whole family as well. Luscious filling. The filling already smells really nice. There's that herbaceousness from the, from the basil. I'm just going to fold up these edges to keep all of those delicious flavors on the inside. And that should do. Another little trick to a crispy crust is a little bit of an egg bath. And as this bakes, the crust is gonna get nice and crispy.
And this is going to cook in here as easy as if it were an oven. You can hear that crust crumble under the knife. Smells divine. Mm. There is nothing like fresh cherries. That crust is a buttery compliment to that sweet taste of the cherries. This dessert was easy as pie. I can't wait to see what I find at the farmer's market tomorrow.